the first natural roost of the Florida bonneted bat um, was actually found out here on Avon Park in an impact area. That's RTO1. Um, and the reason why it was found in 2014 and they were really excited about it because this was the first time we'd seen a natural roost since 1979 for this bat. And the only reason why we knew that one in the 70s was a roost, they cut the tree down and they found bats. In it. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> and that wasn't here, that was somewhere else in Florida yeah. um, where they cut it down. But, uh, but yeah, so everyone was really excited. And so we had a lot of opportunities to work with our state partners, to work with, with uh, within the Fish and Wildlife Service. That's why my internship came up here. It's because they were like, we have this bat here. We need to figure out how to monitor for it. We need to get somebody out here. So that's how I ended up out here. And I actually helped start at the acoustic monitoring and some of the peeping work that, that we do. We call this peeping when we look in there.